Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's topic was highly controversial a couple of years ago. It kind of got ironed out, sorted out whether band shirts should be or are considered multiply. What are the differences? So without further ado, let's talk about it. So because we're talking about multiply today, that means more than one layer. So we're going to look at two double ply shirts. One is going to be a band shirt, one is going to be a poly shirt. So this is what it looks like. Um, I mean, all the, all the band shirts are open back, which is very common with multiply. Um, it's very rare to see a multiply shirt, poly or band shirt, actually have a closed back. So again, after looking at the two ply band shirt, which is in the unlimited category, we're going to switch it out and we're going to look at what a multiply uh, poly shirt looks like. This is my two ply F6 from Anderson Powerlifting. It's a Titan product and uh, it's open back. It's got Velcro closures. So obviously holding these two things up next to one another, there are very obvious differences uh, in the construction and the material. I mean, this, this is literally fabric. This is po high dense polyester and this is a band shirt, which is made of wrap material. And the biggest part about the whole multiply versus unlimited uh, controversy goes is, is, is exactly it's, it's what they're made of. That's where the different classes come into play. So flipping back to the multiply side of the sport, okay, again, this is a very classic example. Now, this is just one company. Now, with Anderson, of course, we distribute for Titan. So this is a Titan product. This is a Titan F6. You've got other companies. You've got Inzer. You've got Metal. You've got Overkill. What they all have in common is basically that they're, they're shirts, they're suits. They're made of a fabric material. You also have denim and canvas, but those are kind of kind of outdated. When poly really took over, became more advanced, and made them obsolete. So again, taking a uh, up close look at this thing, this is fabric. This is made of a high dense polyester. And if I were to take one of these individual layers and actually try to like stretch it it's not going to happen. There is no actual stretch in this material. Now, the way poly works, of course, poly bench shirts, poly suits, is by uh, you creating a tremendous amount of force and pressure on the material, and then eventually, with time and practice and honing in on technique and enough weight, uh, the, the, the material will start to actually deform, and it causes tremendous pressure on your body. It's very uncomfortable. It's extremely painful. I don't miss it that much, but... Uh, there you go. Another classic example. Like I said, this is a poly band shirt, two ply, putting it in the multiply category. Back to the band shirts, which I am absolutely in love with. Um, these are made of wrap material. Uh, just anything like your knee wraps, your wrist wraps, you take a brand new pair of knee wraps or something, you can actually stretch and move the fabric, move the material back and forth. That's exactly what these things are made out of. There is significantly more give with the with the band shirts. There's there is some compression, especially when you get into the multiple layer uh, F8 band shirts. But it's not anywhere near the extreme amount of pressure that's required to make a polyester or a canvas or a denim shirt work. I don't have a lot of multi ply benches actually. I have mostly single ply. So same concept. It's made of fabric. They're polyester. I've used katanas for 13 years before I got into the band shirts. My highest poly bench, which is the highest poly bench ever done, is 1120. So most of my success came from the single ply. I like that a lot more. I can manage it better. But uh, same thing, single ply to multiply, same type of fabric, just different layers. So the other part of the question that we got from uh, YouTube here was, does it more than one layer con is, is considered multiply altogether? Yes, but the thing is with the band shirts, because each layer is of a completely different material all together in the past when you went from their 80s that's the thing gear has been part of the sport since the 80s and people tend to forget that you, you went from this um, year in the 80s to the 90s when you had jamie harris and anthony clark benching in the 700s and trying to bench eight you had ryan Canelli in the 2002s uh benching 800 then you got rich lack 9000 the tiny meeker with 1100 then me with uh, 11 12 13 14 all the fabric all the shirts from the 80s up until uh, the 2010s or uh, late teens was all fabric to fabric to fabric. So when the band shirts came out made of nothing but wrap material, that's where we had to create a whole different category. And we got the federations to actually differentiate between single, you know, you got your raw, classic raw, single ply, multi ply, and a whole new category referred to now as unlimited. So I was like, okay, let's 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 play this game now. I've been working very, very closely with Rob Farrell and Tiffany, as well as Kevin Pittman with Anderson Powerlifting, and we've had 
uh, relatively uh, good success the last few years. So in a nutshell, unlimited shirts are not considered what we call multiply. Yes, you have single, double, triple, or more layers of these band shirts, so technically multiple layers, but they are still categorized. Whether it's one layer, two, three, four, five, they go higher than that. That is a whole separate category called unlimited because of what the shirts are made of. So hopefully this video clears up any questions people have about the different types of shirts, why they have different categories. If you have more questions, of course, I am happy to answer those. Just drop them in the comment section below. If you guys could help me out and do all the YouTube things, like and subscribe, that really helps us out. And that should be it for today. So until next time, stay strong. Baby the bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like the word of Duke, and I can't spell it. <laughs> Can you say it? <laughs> What's it <laughs> matter if you can't spell it? it just... <laughs> Entrepreneur. I hate that word. I can't fucking spell it. Good thing you're not spelling when you speak. <laughs> Pneumonia. <laughs> I should hate it because it's bad to have, not because I can't spell it. <laughs>